You're my reason to doubt. Try to keep me down, but I'll put the flame out. You can't get to me. Throw your sticks and your stones. Go break all of my bones. You won't ache my soul. You can't get to me. And there is no barricade that I can't tear away. Shoot me down the fire away. Now. I don't know what the hell I did, but I just made a pretty sick ass effect. So I do hope that you enjoy this tutorial. Welcome to Ace Designs 107. And today what I've got for you guys is a character wallpaper, I guess. So let's get straight into the tutorial. And yeah, but before I start this tutorial, you guys will need a couple plugins. These guys are 13 plugins, third party plugins that I will be using for this tutorial. And they do cost money. I'm like, I'm not going to say that you can get them for free, but I'm sure if you have a look around on the internet, you'll be able to suss it out and get them for free. But I'm not going to provide you any links for that because I don't want to get in any trouble with the companies and stuff like that. I just want to stay away from that stuff. I just want to provide you awesome content. So let's get straight into this tutorial. I'm not going to delay it anymore. And yeah, but... Before I do start it, I do want to like say thank you so much for this person supplying me this image. Basically, they contacted me and saying, "Pro, can you do this tutorial for th for this picture?" And I was like, "Yeah, why not? Easy picture, easy life, easy tutorial, easy YouTube." So basically, that's what I'm going to do. It's not going to be a concept tutorial because I did mix up it. I made it look a bit better. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So let's go to file new and we're going to make the width 1920 this time by 1080p and I'm going to make it my desktop wallpaper at the end to show you guys how it looks. I'm going to make sure the background contents is on transparent and the color profile is going to be on my monitor. You, you guys probably won't have to change that. Press OK. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab up our character. Now I'm going to show you how you can grab a really cool anime character or anything like that and if you think that I'm like a stalker or anything I use that chick like as my Twitter thing to get in the viewers so don't blame me I just do it <laughs> so I'm gonna do a tutorial and then I'm gonna grab out this character um he's Naruto obviously he's a pretty big ad badass oh I didn't save this PSD I guess preview and open up your character. The way that you can get awesome anime characters is by typing up anime PNG. Now you can do guy or girl, whatever you're trying to look for. Um, there's heaps of resources out there. Anime is a pretty big thing back in like all the Asian countries and even in the, you know, the white countries and some anyway. So we're gonna grab up our image. I grabbed Naruto in our case. He's a pretty bad badass in my opinion. So we're gonna go to the new um, thing that we made and I'm going to press OK. So I'm going to drag it up onto here. Now, I have to get rid of this text. This text is absolutely driving me crazy. So I'm going to grab my color picker and I'm going to press select that color and press OK and grab our pen tool and select around this. I'm going to press Control, make selection, press OK and then fill that in. Um, It's not filling in quick, hey. Another thing that you could do, instead of making the selection, you could just do fill with background foreground color. So we're going to make our selection around here. And do fill path, foreground color, press OK, and then it's done. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to resize this character. So we're going to resize this guy down to like something like that. Press Control T to resize and then hold Shift and drag one of the corners to make sure that it is kept in ratio. I really want to emphasize that point. Now what we are going to do is we're going to press Control Shift Enter. That's going to complete the transformation and we can continue to get on with the tutorial. We're going to press Control A on our keyboard and that's going to select the whole document, not just anything, the whole document. And then we're going to press V on our keyboard and we're going to press the second and fifth icon up on our toolbar. We're going to press Control D to deselect. Now we want to make sure that the character is at an appropriate scale, what we want. Um, this guy's a bit too large 
because I'm going to add in text and everything like that. So I'm going to press Control T again, press Control A again, second and fifth icons. Perfect. Actually, it needs to be a bit bigger. I don't care. Second and fifth icon. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to have to get brushes. Now, I left some links in the description below for you guys to get some awesome brushes. Basically, click on these two links and you'll bring up the dried spider brush and the dust particles. Now, I didn't end up using the dust free particles. I ended up using the dried spider brush more. So get these dried spider brushes downloaded. Then use WinRAR to extract the file and extract it to a location. Press anywhere. And then once you go back into Photoshop, press B on your keyboard. You're going to go up here, go to the cogwheel and do load brushes. Now select whatever files you did. I use got three just in case, but I end up using just the dried brushes. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make out our background. So we're going to go and grab out this stock. I'll put this stock in the description below um, for you guys to use so you can do this tutorial. And we're just going to put that on the screen, press Control T and resize it to the screen size. Now we're going to drag this on the bottom to make it out on our bottom. And we're also going to make a new layer and name this one background. And grab our stock and we're going to press Control E to merge those two together. We're going to press Control U and our keyboard and we're going to drag down the saturation right down and the lightness also right down to make it a pretty dark background because the paint is what we really want to stand out with, along with the character. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab our paintbrush and we're going to grab out a streak like this. Now we're going to press a new layer and we're going to click on our keyboard, click, but we're going to make sure that it's red, not brownie. So I did a brownie last night, get it? Get it? So we're going to click on our keyboard, click down on the monitor and then we have our brush and we're just going to Press Control T, I hold Shift while we find an appropriate thing to rotate it. We're going to press Control J, um, Control T then, and then flip horizontally, move it like that. Bam, we've got a cool X in the background. We're going to press Control E to merge those together. We're going to do the cross, and we're going to go to this file here. Um, I'm just going to show you the settings. Don't worry that I'm not giving it to you guys. I will give it to you. I'm gonna paste layer. Okay, so basically what I used is I go here. So add in a effects by double clicking on the layer. Go to inner glow, put these settings down. I will pause the video or pause the video and then copy down these settings. Go down to color overlay, copy down these settings. Make this color a little bit lighter. Hey, what do you think? Like that. And then go down to gradient overlay, put in a regular gradient as it color those settings, drop shadow. Copy those settings. Press OK. Now we're going to change our fill to like, I guess our opacity. I guess hundreds. OK. So the next thing that we're going to do with this is we have to add in our, a different brush. So what I'm going to choose is I'm going to choose a circle like Make sure you've got a new layer like this. Okay, so I've got a circle brush. I think 1250 pixels is fine. Now I'm going to make sure that this layer is behind our PNG. So I'm just going to rename our character layer to PNG so I know what I'm working with. And then this one. And then I'm going to just click bam there. But I didn't make it a different color. So instead of like pressing Control U and changing the color, I'm just going to do it here. Change the color to like brown. Okay, just like a shitty color you know what I mean and then press Control U and then we can get a bit more accurate um, color I guess browns okay and then I'm just going to put that in right spot the next thing that we're going to do is click a new layer or press Control shift N grab our paintbrush and we're gonna change our paintbrush to a streak like we did for the X's but a different streak to change up the variation and the abstract ibity, I guess. Ibity, new word, there we go. So we're gonna make the, change the color also of the brush to like a really poppy green. And then we're gonna press control, hold control, and hit our brown layer. And then we're going to paint on our new layer with the brush. Bam, it's marked everything to that. How badass is that? Then we're gonna change the color of the brush again to like a pink I guess now we're gonna make a new layer 
and with this one what we're going to do is we're going to click like this press ctrl t resize it to like this bam and then we're going to move this to an appropriate location hold ctrl select the brown layer i'm just going to name this brown layer so you guys know what i'm working with i'm also going to rename this green layer so you guys know what i'm working with here and this one the pink layer now once you've controlled selected the thumbnail of the brown layer we're going to select the pink layer and press ctrl d to deselect oh no we're going to press ctrl shift i bam and then bam pink layer is ready we're going to get rocking now we're going to press ctrl j on the pink layer a couple of times to make that sure that's a little bit more accented and then we've got something going on here but we're going to add in another streak so what we're going to do here, boys, is we're going to add in a, I guess, a yellow. Yellow is what I'm feeling. Above the green layer, rename this to yellow. No need to um, do the other way, what we did the second. Bam, control, select that one. Get on the yellow layer, and we're going to go bam, like that. We've got something mixing on here, boys. Now we're going to do this. I'm going to change the opacity of this baby down to there. Now I'm going to go to my saw whiz layer styles and I'm going to make sure that I'm going to put on the same layer styles. There. Bam. Bam. Now we've got all these layer styles, you know, like, oh no, you didn't do it. It's the exact same layer style, so just copy the ones that I did like at probably six minutes or so. Okay, so we're going to make this one pink color. This one is going to be yellow. This one is going to be green. Just change the color overlay, like simple. And this one is going to be brown. Actually, I might just provide a link in the description so you guys can get the layer style. It's really easy. Um, that will make it a bit easier for you guys. So make sure you hit that like button even more because I'm providing you with free shit. So let's get it. Okay, so we're going to close this layer down. And basically, we're going to start making this thing a bit awesome. Now, we've got these crazy lines coming in. So I'm not liking that. So we're going to grab our eraser tool. Make sure it's pretty big. You know, everyone likes it big, even the girls. So we're going to merge all these layers into one. And we're going to erase this like lines away um, like that. And then with our crosses, we're going to erase a lot of those lines away. But we want to make sure we don't get off the crosses. Um, make sure it's a soft brush also. Um, you know, teddy bears are soft. Everyone likes teddy bears. Um, but make sure you're not on a softie in the incorrect time. So let's get straight into it. So another thing is we um, need some little bit more abstractimity, I guess. We just made up a word. So um, with this abstractimity, we're going to grab our brush. And we're going to make a new layer above this. And we're going to name this um, circle, I guess. Now, you can all keep these separate layers if you want to edit them. But I'm pretty happy on the way that they're working right now. So we're going to grab our brush. And we're going to do this one. This is a great brush, I guess. Yeah, great brush. So now what we're going to do is, I'm just going to look at this. He used yellow, but I'm not feeling it yellow. I'm feeling like orange. Orange is it. So I'm going to press like that. Press Control T. Resize this baby down to like that. And then press Control J. Like that and then i'm going to merge those two together i'm going to right click on the layer and do paste layer style because photoshop remembers what you did before just like humans does you know it's a very humanized program so we're going to change the color of it down to like orange we're going to make it a bit more brighter orange press ok on that boys i'm going to press ok again so the next thing that we're going to do with this is we're going to make it look a bit more sick to do that, we're going to add in some drop shadows. Now, if, you're, if your picture doesn't look sick, revert to drop shadows because they will always save the day. But we still got those pesky little lines in the background. So I'm going to press E on our keyboard to bring back our eraser tool. And we're going to erase those shitty lines like we did on your mother. Um, I'm joking. So we're going to fix up this, I guess. Okay, bam lines are away so now what we are going to do is we're going to add in those drop shadows as promised with the png we're going to do drop shadow but before we do that we're going to 
duplicate our PNG by pressing Control J on our keyboard. The shortcuts should come up on screen throughout this whole tutorial because I'm a badass. So what we're gonna do is we're also gonna hide down that copy, and then we're gonna go to blending options, drop shadow, change the size and the spread, and like that, I guess. Um, I'm not gonna change the distance. I like it actually centered. Okay, just like that. Press OK. We're getting jazzy down here, boys. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the blending options on these. But we're going to... Wait, wait. We're not going to clear those. We're going to... Rasterize lay style. And then we're going to go to blending options. Drop shadow. And then look how badass this look. Because it's like... It's like adding this depth to this thing, and it's looking pretty good. So I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm going to drop shadow, drop shadow. And then we're going to add a drop shadow on this thing. And we're going to change the opacity because it's a bit too strong there. And then we're also going to drag one here. Like that. Now this look might a bit messy with all the shadows, I agree. So, I'm going to change your opacity. Make sure that you get rid of this so you actually see what you're working with. So it's not that one, it's going to be this one so that's making the fucking splats everywhere. What is that? I think it's the red. No, I think it's the red. There it is. It's a red. Okay, I'm gonna make the opacity like that. So it's working. It's it's all done. So the next thing that we're going to do with this is we can try a um, stroke around this. I haven't tried that before. Actually, it's probably like a good idea. Pinkish, I guess. So we're gonna add a stroke. We're gonna make it four, and we're gonna change the opacity right down to like twenty three. Make it really soft. And then we're going to duplicate this again, but what this one is, we're going to make the stroke like this. We're going to make a different stroke, and I'm just going to try how this actually works out, because I haven't done this before. Like that, and then I'm going to change the opacity like this. Okay, so we're going to duplicate that, change the stroke color, and then change the size of the stroke also, and change the opacity to 38. And then we've got something really cool going on. So now we're going to do that a third time, and then with the third time, I think I'm going to make the color of the stroke blue. I think. Because blue is like a blue like that. Oh no, um, not the drop shadow. Oh, it doesn't matter if I make a drop shadow a different color. Okay. Um, 10, that's not big enough. Eighteen, and we're gonna change the opacity right down to like that. Okay, sweet. So we've got some pretty cool like things going on here. Um it it's pretty crazy to commentate how badass this thing looks. Words haven't even been invented on how good this thing looks. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna press T on our keyboard. We're gonna get up Typography Pro. It's an awesome font that I really recommend that you should download. And we're gonna type on our thing, um, whatever. So what, what says here? Good art is talent. So good art is talent. So we're gonna rename that down to there. And good art is talent. And we're gonna put it over here. Just like that, it's pretty crazy. Let's get it. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer, put it down here. We're going to grab our brush tool, and we're going to... Um, actually, we're just going to grab our pen tool, and we're going to make a circle around a square or any random shape around here. Make selection, press OK. Make sure get black on your foreground color, fill that selection in, press Control D to deselect that selection. Then we're going to go to filter, blur, glushing blur, and we're going to change this blur, blur right up to like 18.2, I guess. And then we've got something like this going on. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add in some cool motion blurs to our renders. So we're going to press, we're going to merge all these together because I'm pretty happy on how those turned out. And we're going to press Control J 
and we're going to put those on the bottom but we're going to move this one in the bottom and then we're going to go to filter blur motion blur and we're going to change the distance of the motion blur something like 22 i guess and we're going to do that a second time and we're going to move this one on the back like this and with the third one what we're going to do is we're going to tweak the settings to even higher so even going to be like that So we've got something pretty cool going on here. Now I could show you how you could meld this edge like into the brushes and everything, but that's for a separate tutorial. It's a bit more complex and I don't want to be making this tutorial 40 minutes long, if you know what I mean. Okay, so the next thing that what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some plugins. So what you're going to need is you're going to need to go down to and download Magic Bullet Looks. Now Magic Bullet Looks is an awesome program which allows you to make your picture look pretty badass. So, I'm um, basically, I'm going to, oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, so now I have to merge everything together, so I'm gonna shift click everything, press control J, press control E, they'll merge everything together. Then I'll merge my original shit into a group by selecting all of them, dragging them into here. Rasterize layers, rasterize style, control E. Ah, fuck it, I don't need a backup. Okay, so we're going to do this. Why can't I add magic bullets? Filter magic bullet, okay. Okay, so we're gonna go to filter, oh wait. Wait, some technical difficulties here, so we're going to go to Magic Bullets. Sweet. Okay, so we've got all these settings. Now, I'm just going to show you my settings, and you're going to... I'll actually... I'll just show you how to do this. So, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go down to our post. We're going to add in a Cosmo. We're also going to add in a pop. We're also going to add in a color contrast. We're also going to add in a crush. We're also going to add in a chromatic abbreviation. We're also going to add in a warm cool. We're also going to add in a film green. We're also going to add in a hue saturation. So with our hue saturation, what we're going to do is... Actually, I'm just going to cancel this. I'm just going to show you my previous settings. Hopefully, they're still there. I really hope they're there. I really, really hope they're there. Yes, they're still there. So, we're going to have the contrast, color contrast, like I showed you how to add it. Um, RGB is around here. There's colors. The color abbreviance is going to be here. Um, color abbreviance is pretty cool shit. Now we're going to go to our contrast. We're going to have a contrast of that. The crush is going to be around here. The warm color is going to be around here. The Cosmo is going to be these settings. Make sure you pause for these. It's pretty important. Now the swing tilt, I've had like some trouble with this one. Um, Something like that, I guess. Okay, and we're also going to add in these curves. These curves are pretty important, you know, just like curves on a girl. Okay, we're going to finish those, and now look at the difference. It's going to take its time. I know it does. It always does this. Um, so it's going to take its time to load up this. And look how awesome that's become. Now we can do that again. So we're going to go to Filter, Magic Bullet Looks. And we're going to make it even more crazy. So we're going to... Uh, like that. And then gamma. Just look how I'm messing with the settings. I can't really make a tutorial on this. Um... It's, it's really like, 
personal on how you think it is like on how it looks a lot of people like motion blur a lot of people don't um it's just all depends on the way that you like shit and finish that and it's going to redo this And hopefully you guys will see what it looks like at the end. Okay, so um, this is going to be our final effect that we have made for this tutorial. So it's been 25 minutes. It's been a pretty good tutorial so far. But I want to redo this good art is talent. So to make it more clear. So I'm going to do good art is talent. Exactly the same. is the most cheapest ripoff way you should never do shit but i'm going to show you so i'm going to press ctrl t alt shift resize that is like that and because the chromatic abbreviation has been like a pointed into this it's going to look like that that's the effect that you want um good artist talent And we're going to change this one to opacity or like that. Okay, so now you can actually see what the text is saying. And then we can go back to our normal one and change the opacity on that one. To like 4. And we can keep it a bit more laid back or stuff. But I'm going to keep it full blown, blasted, everything's out. So, thank you so much for watching the tutorial everyone. I do hope that you hit that like button. And thank you so much for all the support that I've been getting on my channel. This tutorial has been pretty crazy. I've said some pretty bad stuff. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.